Hello everyone, this is Luffy Ress, this is Super Mario 35, and th this is today's daily challenges. Use the mushroom or fire flower three times. Use a superstar to defeat ten enemies in a row. Rank in the top 15 five times. Nice. Other than the rank in the top 15 five times, none of that seems too bad. Seems like pretty standard stuff. So what's going on with you? Any changes in your life? Anything good going on? Anything bad? I... am... kind of just in the middle of it, you know? Aren't we all? The year's about to end. Let's do what we can to survive, you know? Or knock it out of the park. Whatever you feel like doing. If you need to hibernate, if you need to destroy the world, if you want to try to save the world, go for it. It's a free country, even when it's not. Make a game like Minecraft, except it's all about capitalism. I'm feeling up to it. I really like the days when I play special battle first, because that's just a warm-up. And I know I'm gonna like poop out in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna be tired of this already, but you know. This first this the first few rounds always feel really nice. Cool, cool, cool. I want my voice to be like the Reapers from Mass Effect. I've never played Mass Effect, but I watched two different roommates over the course of three different years play two of the games. So, I'm kind of into the lore from what I've seen. Like, literally, I'm not even kidding you, like, I watched part of the gameplay of Mass Effect 1 in like 2011. And then I watched part of the gameplay of Mass Effect 3 in 2013? 14? I want to say 13. Might have been 14, I don't know. Time is weird. Like, who really remembers anything any day anymore, you know? That was a trick, and I hate you for it. I'm just two invisible turtles stacked on top of each other, in a way that you can't see. Well, that was fun. That was risky business. That was stupid. It should never happened like that. But it did. Such is life. Cool. Could have gotten more, but you know. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is the question. The answer is... You're doing your best. Oof. Oh, 
Well, that's weird. I'm used to a lot more enemies on this level. Huh. I guess it is pretty early, isn't it? We're only five minutes in. I can do this. Yeah, I can do it. Watch in amazement as I break Mario's fist against this flying platform. It's what he wanted me to do. He wouldn't have it any other way. I like randomly just letting go of the control stick and just seeing where my jumps will go. See? Nice and easy. Doesn't have to be anything forced, doesn't have to be anything scary. Oh, there's secretly two of them again. That's like my worst enemy right now. Two turtles stacked up against each other in a way where I can't see one of them. As opposed to three kids in a trench coat, which is basically like... the best thing ever when you encounter it in the real world. Let me tell you, you encounter it very rarely. Unless there's a lot of aliens doing a lot of weird, freaky stuff that I don't know about. Oh boy. Um, the best thing to do would be to ambush you guys. Close, but no cigar. Nice. Oh boy. Why'd everybody have problems with you? You're just in your element, unmoisturized, but breathing fire. Such is the Bowser life. Well, that's the way it goes. Oh, really? That's a lot of firepower. Oh boy. That was potentially disastrous. Disasterific. I love the, like, fake words that, like, fictional things create. Like, disasterific, meowvelous. I'm sure there are other ones I'm neglecting to think about right now. Really? You're just wasting my time, fool. waste my time right now, but not too much longer. <laughs> There's still eight Marios. Okay, cool. The curse of me speaking about it strikes again. That's good. That's great. We are down to six. Oh man. But I needed the shells. I can't even do that right. There we go. I never care. This isn't even fair, you... Come on, get off. Can I... I don't think I can. Uh, I lost it. Of course. And of course, I got hit by his flame. What a way to die. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was the first round? Okay. 
That took forever and a half. Well, we're just gonna have to keep trying. It's not about whether we win or lose. It's about how many levels we can go up in a single game session. <laughs> uh, hopefully by March we're at li we're at double stars. I don't know. I feel like if we go up one or two every time we play, and I play every day in December. We should be pretty close to being at double stars before the new year. And if we really had to bang one out, like, just to get it knocked out, we could do that too. See where we are, like, the 15th or so? Yeah, if we're, like, at 60 or 80 by the 15th, then, like, might as well just... hour and a half up sessions, you know, until we knock it out. Double start with the new year, get fully leveled up before the game's over. And if we manage to do that, like if we fully level up, get all the icons, you know, have done everything we can, then let's just do it all over again. <laughs> like all my earlier videos have the button presses and stuff. So, like, maybe that last month, that last March, March month, Voldemort, that last March month, we'll just like alternate between keeping up with this one and starting a new file and seeing how far we can get. That'd be cool. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Because, like, I've been playing this since October and I'm getting pretty close to done with it. But I'm still enjoying it. And I don't know how long I can do this. That's kind of what it is, like... If it's just about grinding out for levels, then... I'll probably lose patience with that eventually. But I don't know. We'll see. I do love me some Super Mario. Two or one four. Let's just do one four. We'll have to do one two anyways. Let's get some Bowser's into the mix. For me. Yeah, buddy. Works out pretty well, I say. Take it. Run like a madman through everything. Nice. See? I'm always right. We have multiple very good footage of me doing that crazy stuff by bouncing off of enemies on Piranha Plants. It's no longer my big foot. It's a, it's a real thing that happens. Okay. 
Oh yeah, and I don't have a fire flower. That's right. And now I don't have any power-ups. Hooray. I mean, not really. Hooray. This isn't the end game yet. Alright. <laughs> One four again. Neat. A lot of people need to beat castles, I guess. A lot of people need to learn you need to wake up pretty early to catch me with a piranha plant. Or I have to be pretty desperate. I'm sitting pretty so far. That's fair. Of course. Oh dear. Oh cool. I never know how things are gonna go. Okay. That's nice. My other computer went to sleep, so I had to, like, tap it awake with my lip. Really weird. But my hands are in pillowcases. And they're kind of stuck there by sweat. It's not an ideal situation. I'm just not... I don't know if going to sleep will affect my computer uploading videos to YouTube, so, like, until I know yes or no, it's probably better to not let it sleep. But we'll see. Like, you'd think it wouldn't. You'd think it would know, like, oh, I'm still doing stuff, technically. Dang Apple and their energy saving programs. Cool. Well, one two it is. two two it is. <laughs> one two 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 three two. C three PO. You know, it's all the same. I've never seen Star Trek. Don't quote me on that. I thought this would be where my luck would change. I did not know it would be for the worst. Well, that's two. That's cool. Let's see if I can get fourth place all five times. That's the real challenge. Watch me screw it up on the last one by getting third place. This is easy. Easy and peasy. Can everybody else say? The important thing is to go at your own pace, even when that seems counterproductive. Happened. 
I'm trapped down here with you guys. Or are you trapped down here with me? Oh, I lost my thing. Okay. I'll accept that. That's life. I don't accept it. Okay, I accept it. Life's a little bit of a meaner thing than I thought it was. There's only 14 Mario's left on the second level. Nice. Thanks for proving me <laughs> exactly right, you ding-dongs. Wow. Not that I'm one to talk, because, like, if there's anyone who's a ding-dong in this group, it's me, but... At least I can usually hold my own, more, more often than not. Okay, I don't like this. Yeah, that's a... That's a situation. Well, we're gonna have to do it again and again anyway, so... Let's cut out the middle man. of you guys, you piranha plants, taking over my favorite hangout spots. How dare you. This used to be a place for children, now it's just a place for grumpy old men. And it's all because of these biting plants. Secrets. Nice. Not perfect, but nice. Move slow, honing on your target. That's how I like to do this. We don't have any, like, any ghost enemies that aren't basic enemies. That's tragic. Let's get some Hammer Brothers in here. Let's get some bloopers and other garbage enemies. Somebody needs to hack in, like, booze. <laughs> in Super Mario Maker, it should be in here, right? It passes whatever we say it is collectively. No need to... No need to worship what's already gone. Let's just reinvent the wheel. We'll call it a quilb. And then we'll sell it to somebody for a lot of money. Hello, sir. Or madam. Would you like to hear about my quilb? Is that that lump on your face? Of course not. That's rude. Why would you say that? I don't know where I'm going with that story, but you know. It went somewhere. It went somewhere. For those of you who want to name the lump on my imaginary face, you can send posted a letter to um, an address that clearly exists, and you'll be able to name the lump on my face that doesn't exist. 
Only in the context of this story does it exist. Why are they Christmas colors? I mean, it's a good game to play during this December, you know, in the lead up to the holiday season. But like, why are they red and green? I mean, I'm sure it's just because of like the NAS's like color limitations. But still, I wonder, what is it? Why'd it be? How come? Who did? The why? Nice. Slaying everything. I see someone's in Castle 4-4. That's interesting. Unless it's a different castle I'm thinking of. I don't know. I actually don't know, like, what levels are levels, usually. I'm pretty bad at that. Nice! Perfection! Nothing but a well-placed pit would stop me now. Nothing but a half dozen Hammer Brothers could stop me now. I like bouncing the shells like that. Like when you hit them with blocks and they just keep flopping around. That's fun. If that was a Game & Watch game, I could probably play it like... Not to high score it or anything, but I could probably play it for a little bit. But that seems fair. Well, there's only one of these, so... Nope. I could do it all over again, or... I'm gonna have to waste my time on castle stages anyways. Might as well do it. Oh, we're down to four people already. Sweet! Not really what I needed, but, you know, I'll take it. Slow down my time, please. Cool. That's what I like to see. I like to see. Not having to care about stuff. You ruined my timing, Bowser. How dare you. Oh boy, your goon is gonna... I guess not. No real effect on my adventure. No real effect on my adventure. Well, I mean, there is. This Ding Dong thinks he can stop me. I mean, he is. Definitely. Oh no, it shut down part way. That sucks. So you missed me win that level, but... Hey, at least we're somewhere, right? Cool, cool, cool. That's what it's always that's what it's always been about. Nice. Fourth place again. <laughs> It's slowly coming true, isn't it? And we all know I'm not good at playing the fall guy here, right? Like, this was all totally unintentional up to this point. <laughs> 
Like, at this point, like, being three in, like, it kind of feels as if I have to continue this to its utmost conclusion. And it may very well be possible. I'm a little disappointed that my capture card shut down partway. But that's life. to feel at home. watching. Oh boy, that was silly. Fifteen. And now we wait with bated breath. I guess that ruins it. Twelfth place. One more. And I can get any place I want. Any place I so desire. Without having to worry about it. aren't used to 1-3. I get it. Yeah. That's fair. It is a pretty difficult level if you don't know what you're doing. Not that I ever know what I'm doing, but I can survive 1-3. I know a thing or two. I've been around the block. But you know what? 
When life gives you lemons, you grab coins and make lemonade. I hope in the future, when all vegetation is extinct, instead of saying when life gives you lemons, people just say when life gives you LeBron James without context. I hope that becomes a thing in the future. That was dumb. I used my last coins. Not a bad effect, just really dumb. I'm in 8th place, though. Save. Easy to fix. Easy fix. I love it. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Boy, I'm having difficulties. At least my timer is full. Even if my coins are not. Yeah, I wasn't able to. I wouldn't be able to get that anyways. I can use my wheel twice. Solid two times. Should I need to? Purpose of that. Where's the map for that meaning, huh? time than your own demise. That's how I feel about this game sometimes. Like, you're at the worst possible situation, and then, like, good things happen. But usually it's just, you're in a normal situation and you screw it up. Yeah, I don't like that. At least I got to see those two of them slightly overlapped. That was cool. So you can see the effect I'm complaining about constantly. Neat. That's what I need more of. I need more red Koopas, like at the ed edges of stuff. Yeah, like you. Keeping everything running just fine. Aw, oh, man. I wanted that mushroom. Not fair. That's life, I guess. Cool. So I can use the wheel five more times than the last time I said I could. So seven times total. 
which isn't much. If I get fourth place, I'm gonna be like mind blown in the worst way. Mind blown in the worst way. So say a fluffy. Whoa, buddy. That was dumb. You betrayed me. Not to make an excuse, but you know like that thing like when you have a piece of sweat like uncomfortably close to your eyeball? Kind of experiencing that right now. I don't like it. I am trying to blink it away, but it's just not moving. If I get a star man right now, I'm gonna be Okay, good, 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 good. It's called Read Her Room Magic Wheel. You're very bad at doing that sometimes. But so am I. So I forgive you. Cool. We're at the impossible part of the whole endeavor. Neat. The part where I pretend that anything I do matters at this point. <laughs> That's cool. Come on, give me a power up. Nope. That's just how it goes, I guess. Wow, three stars in a row. I'm I'm complaining. Cause I've only got four more <laughs> rolls to go, but. I'm also not complaining. Cause I've only got one more place to beat the one I want to beat, so... Everything being said, I'm looking pretty. Nice. See, that's all I need. Not so hard. I'm being sassy, but... You know, like... I really don't want to get fourth place. It's not a fair thing to happen to me. I'm better than that. I don't deserve to be a comic chew toy. Or a bad joke. You know? Onward I go. Alright, two, four, three, four, one, one. Neat. Okay then. Oh no, you ruined my jump! I got fourth place! And it was all my fault. How long has this been? Like, I feel like I got at least half an hour on the previous recording. If we get about half an hour on this one, it should be fine, right? It doesn't need to be perfectly an hour, right? very sweaty, and very tired, and very done with being a cosmic joke. I mean, I'd rather it be, like, placing fourth in Mario, placing, like, twelfth the one time, and then placing fourth again, like, that's kind of funny. Like, we- it could be totally, like, some sort of, like, biblical, like, everyone you know and care about croaks, 
You lose everything else. You have nothing to live for. Aha. Uh -huh. God says hi. I don't know. So I guess I'd rather have this, like, winky dink garbage junk than actual, like, attention of, like, a higher power. But that's just me. Totally afraid of the supernatural. since we've heard my favorite sound and it's full glory, right? Nice, nice. Really? Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. I guess that's why they call him Slippery, Slippery Luigi. Can't catch a break. Or a coin. A lot of coins though, or not a lot of coins, a lot of, a lot of time. Mixing them up, money and time, a lot of people do. I hear that's the key to a bad life. Or a good life and a bad end, I don't know. I'm not a Hallmark movie writer. Although for short interview and a paycheck, I would totally write Hallmark movies for a living. Yes. Well, I got 11 Mario's left. That's always fun. I know I was like verbally flexing on people who couldn't complete one three, but like, you know, if you can avoid it, do it. Like just because you know, just because you know the jumps doesn't mean you won't screw up. but not, like, victorious, confident. Oh yes, I love that. So is that stage 2-2, two -two, or is that stage 7-2, or is that just, like, an in-between bit? Looks like it's an actual stage. Okay. I see two people in water stages. I'm seeing a lot of bloopers. Have yet to see any fish, I think. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention, I guess. Oops. There's still some bloopers on the horizon. I swear, if I get any weird bloopers here, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. 
Yeah. As long as they're not weird ones. As long as they're, like, corridor bloopers, that's fine. Hallway bloopers, adequate. None of this, like, coming up from, like, impossible ang angles <laughs> bloopers, okay? Oh, I was not paying attention. Not really what I need. Come on. A little kindness here. <laughs> Unplanned destruction of my ancient foes. Okay, I guess that's just the way it's gonna be. And my guess is. If I press the is press the issue, it's gonna be a similar stuff. I'm just gonna keep getting stars. That seems to be my luck. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Mushrooms. Oh boy, this is not fun. I put myself into this situation. Now I have to get myself out. Interesting. Well, that's fair. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> they closed me off. Tired. I might play some Tetris 99 today. And I should play some Minecraft. I died in the nether, and that wasn't fun. I lost a lot of stuff. And that's kind of how it goes, like you just make a new set of things because you finally have stuff to do it. And then you lose it immediately, because you're a ding-dong. I tried fighting a gasp on a narrow bridge. And that didn't go well for me. What makes it even worse is, like, if I was just positioned just a little bit, like, left, right, forward, or backwards, I would have not landed into lava, but on land. So that's cool. I love cruel tricks of fate. That's just the way it goes. I intend to complete a tunnel south and the nether and a bridge to the north. And if it ends up being a bridge and a tunnel to the north and a tunnel and a bridge to the south, that's fine. Don't ask me why I picked those directions. Probably because I've already explored east a little bit. And it's time to get the other, like, directions too a bit. I don't think I'll find anything west. But I could be wrong. It's gonna turn out that there's, like, another fortress, like, right next to where I'm at. Like... I don't know. I don't think that's how they work. But I'm not a man Minecraft master. I'm just the guy playing it. Never beat it. I just played it on the PC, Wii U, 3DS, and now the Switch. I think my most glorious moment was either an entire night I spent <laughs> and like not an in-game night, an actual like real life night that I spent exploring a jungle because I got lost. I was just trying to find my way back home. And I never did find my way back home. So, you know, that sucks. Turns out, I discovered that the island I thought I lived on wasn't actually an island. And that the ocean I thought I lived on 
wasn't actually an ocean. That was cool. That was fun. Either that or the time I tried digging a tunnel under said ocean and accidentally discovered a um, what are they called? Um, strongholds. You know, that thing you need to get to the end of the game. I found one before I even found the nether in my first playthrough of Minecraft. Uh, it was a long tunnel, though. And it was really deep because I was trying to... I wanted to make sure like it would be underneath the water. Like, back in the old days, like, the ocean floor was just gravel and garbage. So you didn't want to, like, run into it. Because I'm a bad player and I definitely die in that kind of situation. But yeah, that's some of my Minecraft stories. I've got a bunch more, but I'm not, not really remembering them now. And it may not be the time to talk about them. Maybe, like, during a Minecraft playthrough where I'm actually, like, talking about stuff. You know, have it be topical. Have it be related. Like, this would be the place to talk about Mario stories. Oh boy. Um, that's not what I wanted. Oh, this is great, actually. Well, that's not great. I don't know how I survived that. That was a lot of garbage moves right there. Give me more coins, please. Okay. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that ends games pretty quick, if you're not paying attention. Nice. That's what I thought. I didn't even see it. I just hopped on it. Because I knew it was there. Oh dear. I did not know you were there. And it doesn't matter, I guess. Everything is slain before me. Everything after me is just... post luffy pre luffy No, post luffy After me would be post luffy But speaking of games that aren't the game I'm playing... Did I mention I played Tetris 99 earlier today? Or yesterday? Whatever it is. It was pretty fun. I'm not good at it. Like, the best I did was 15th place. So I was like, that's not bad. For being bad at Tetris. But... I don't know, I've got a lot to learn. Before I can, like, pull off a win, I think. Excuse me. That was gross. I'm gonna end up doing this course twice. That's great. Not really good on coins, not really great on power-ups. It's a course. Nice and short. That's fun. Neat. Oh, of course. Thanks, buds. I hit the wrong thing. 
Oh well, it's only a loss of like what? 20 coins? I lose way more whenever I die, so. Or whenever I do that. Whenever I do that. Of course. <laughs> oh boy. One last round, I think. One last round. And that should complete things pretty well, I think. So you've been listening to me for a while. Do you think I repeat myself a lot? Because sometimes I catch myself saying something like, blah 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 blah, I think. Different blah 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 blah, I think. And it's like, why would I do that? I don't know. But maybe it's just something I only think I'm catching myself. Because our brains are tricky, slippery creatures. And they do try to gaslight us constantly. Reality is false. Truth is an illusion. We must destroy the human brain. I'm sorry I didn't make that rhyme, but like... I don't know. That's kind of like saying that Karl Marx should have made, like, the Communist Manifesto be in verse or something, you know? I think it's okay if we're not all Shakespeare. Although I'm sure there is an alternate universe where everybody's just Shakespeare. Like, not even metaphorically, non-literally, like, just literally, everybody's William Shakespeare. They fall, out of they fall out of giant mushrooms, covered in slime, gasping for air, quoting themselves. Yep. William Shakespeare world is a horrible place to go, but a wonderful place to think about and paint. So if you're inspired by the horrible hellscapes I talk about, congratulations. You've got a functioning human brain. If you're terrified by what I say, congratulations, you've got a functioning human brain. If you don't really know how you feel about any of this, don't worry. We can remove your functioning human brain. This kills a human so far, but someday it may not have to. And what a day that will be. One of the phrases etched into my very soul is, this kills the crab. I think about that every time I do something. Whether or not it would or would not kill a crab, it's just like, this kills the crab, and it's like, I'm just getting ice cream. Did you know crab ice cream was impossible until some scientist guy decided he could make it with science? And he did. Yeah, apparently, like, two big impossible things would be, like, pineapple jelly and crab ice cream, because of, like, the enzymes in their bodies wouldn't allow them to, like, freeze and or gel properly. Which is interesting. This is the kind of, like, human spirit stuff that gets us to the moon, or to Mars, or discovers that the human brain actually is a parasite, and we have to remove it. People who think outside the box and tackle problems not because they're easy or hard, but because they're there, and somebody's got to do it. I like talking about people with indomitable spirits, but like, let's be real, I get disappointed when I don't win constantly, and I've never won constantly in this game. So I don't know what I've trained myself to be, but... Clearly not happy is the response. I'm like Pavlov's dogs, except every time you ring a bell I'm just disappointed in myself.
Disappointment is my drool. And dinner is my ointment. To be fair, though, like, I feel like I've mentioned this before. A Pavlog, Pavlog wasn't that nice to his dogs. Like, some of them had windows. Some of them were, like... All of them were emotionally abused, basically. And I guess that's just life. In a time period where, like, everybody thought dogs and it... Like, animals in general didn't have souls. And didn't feel pain. So, you know, it was just... Throw them in machines, chop off their heads, and see if we can make them, like, blink and bark for a little bit longer. I don't know. Animal experimentation, like, it's it's always really horrifying, but like, it used to be way worse, and it's still pretty. It's still pretty bad because most of it nowadays is just is just like medical experiments and like testing like products that humans need to use. So it's still pretty awful. Hey, isn't it better that a mouse dies than a human? I don't know. Like, I know it's a cartoon, but I feel like that's how you get pinky in the brain. Wonton animal cruelty. Take that fish. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. You're supposed to let me stomp you, blooper friend. See, like that one. Doesn't have to be a thing. thing called personal space guys. Respect it. Well, I didn't need to do that. I guess I did. Just a few seconds later would have been better. Far from fatal, though. Oh boy. Here we are. Aw, oh, man. Cool. Okay, getting rid of all the squid in your life. A non-metaphorical guide to dealing with squid who fly through the air and want to hurt you. Written by Mario Mario. Co-authored by Luigi Mario. Princess Peach. Bowser Koopa III. And C. Montgomery Burns. How'd he get there? It's quite a story. I'm... Frustrated. I knew that would happen, but I'm willing to take that... I'm willing to take this punishment right now. Thank you. Oh boy. I kind of figured that would happen too, at some point. I thought it would ho I would hope it would happen later, but such is life. Fourth place again. Or no, fifth place. Cool. Spared by the bell. And that was Super Mario 35. Thank you for watching. We've leveled up a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.